Lexus LC500 review. When they're finally done experimenting with their super SUVs, pseudo saloons, hybrid supercars, high design shooting brakes, plug in hypercars, and various other ultra limited volume flights of fancy, the luxury car makers of the world will, I reckon, all come back to cars like the new Lexus LC500, front engined, rear driven, two plus two seater Grand Touring Coupes. They'll have to. This is the quintessential vehicle type for an elegant, exclusive and glamorous kind of existence. And auto car road testers must obviously be considered well qualified authorities to comment on such lavish lifestyles, stop sniggering at the back. For the same reasons that big grand touring coupes can only be departed from by the likes of Porsche, Ferrari and BMW for so long. It makes a singular statement when an up-and-coming luxury car maker such as Lexus makes one. It's a statement of ambition made real, of evident established maturity, skill and expertise there for all to see. A grand touring coupe from a company such as Lexus says, we've arrived. And one that looks like this, the new LC, says, let's have it. Concept car looks seldom make it onto the production line to quite such dramatic effect as they have on this car. Look up a photo of the 2012 LFLC show car and, if you can spot a significant visual difference between that and the finished LC, you've got better eyesight than I do. When car manufacturers plow hundreds of millions into delivering a concept car such as the LFLC to the road so unmolested, it's not done easily. And with the new LC production car, Lexus is clearly hoping to surprise, to convince people to look afresh at the brand they might previously have overlooked. The LC brings with it more than just that arresting exterior. This landmark introduction bloods an all-new vehicle platform for Lexus called Ga L that will go on to sire the next LS limousine and all front long wheels engined, rear-wheel drive models that follow it. The Japanese firm claims that this is the most rigid structurally advanced series production car it has yet made, built out of a mix of several grades of steel, aluminium and carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Power comes from a choice of 3.5-liter V6 petrol electric, LC500H, or 5.0-liter atmospheric V8, LC500, engines. Both are familiar but they get new transmissions for their application in the LC. The hybrid is teamed with a new multi-stage shift gearbox featuring both a CVT-style epicyclic power split and a 4-speed automatic gearbox, while the V8 gets new 10-speed conventional automatic with a new torque converter and a separate lock-up clutch. Suspension for the car is by steel coils and adaptive dampers, with multi-link systems featuring both front and rear. The car comes with an open rear differential and 20 in cast alloy wheels as standard but opt for Lexus Sport Plus option pack and, among other things, you get a CFRP roof panel, a wheel upgrade to 21 in forged items, speed-dependent active ratio four-wheel steering and a Torsen-style limited slip differential. The LC has a four-seater 2 plus 2 cabin, but its rear seats aren't any larger than those of a Porsche 911. You can tell it's got a stiff superstructure before your backside's even settled into the leather and Alcantara driver's seat because you can close the long, relatively heavy passenger door as hard as you like without feeling so much as the faintest shudder from the surrounding bodywork, bodywork, 